When I grow up, I just want to be as jacked and as strong as Abby Zilla in The Last of Us 2, A Cuckman Story. Looks wise, she's uglier than Jabba the Hutt. We should actually start calling her Jabby the Hutt. I actually want to make a correction from one of the previous videos I made. Neil Cuckman mocapped as both the characters in that weird scene with two dudes boning. I hope that clears up some confusion, but what bothers me the most about Abby is they claim that they want more female representation, but then they proceed to make a female that looks and behaves like a man. Anyway, moving on. Oh, looky, what do we have here? Druckmann indulging in way too many sex scenes. Oh, this is why he went to Sony's HR department and said, quote, I did not have mocap sexual relations with that voice actor. It all makes sense now. And if you do enjoy these videos, you know the drill. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. We're almost at 12k. And because YouTube has a habit of burying my channel, you must ring my da -da 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 bell. It really does help the channel grow. Now, one of the shills compared the interactive SJW propaganda movie The Last of Us 2 to Schindler's List. Schindler's List, that is really one of the most bizarre comparisons I've ever heard. I didn't read the rest of the article, but the way some of these shields are, he probably said it's exactly like the Holocaust, maybe more devastating. These fucking journalists are out of their mind. If anything, it's more like the human centipede with 12 rainbow-haired weirdos with giant earrings lined up perfectly in a straight line. Actually, hold on, pardon me, what am I saying? There is one thing that The Last of Us 2 and Schindler's List do have in common, and that would be forced labor. Naughty Dog literally had the employees work like dogs for seven years to put out one of the all-time heaps of dog shit I've ever seen. This is why I always preach that game journalists no longer speak for gamers. And that brings me to today's video where Beta Critic is now deleting negative The Last of Us 2 reviews. Oh wow, nobody could have seen this one coming. In other news, the sky is blue, water is wet, Cuckman is a soy latte sipping cuck, and SJWs keep trying to control the narrative. I just don't understand why these pussies are so afraid of criticism and other people's opinions that they are willing to destroy their own integrity by trying to bump this garbage ghost simulator from 3.3 to 4.3. What someone needs to do is make a review aggregator with no critic scores, no curation of reviews, Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic would cease to be a thing overnight. Deleting negative reviews should be illegal because it defeats the very purpose of a website like this even existing. I mean, colluding with a game company to sell this garbage as gold has to be against some sort of consumer protection laws. And finally, isn't it funny how Sony's Ghostbusters 2016 started this full-blown bowel movement of SJW wokeness. And here we are in 2020 with Sony's The Last of Us, Jedi Busters, The Dark Fate. Yes, I just combined all of the woke movies I could think of in one title. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Even the lesbians on Tumblr didn't like The Last of Us 2. Manix out.